Miss Gemma here, how are you today? In today's lesson we're going to talk about recognising and representing our numbers. So what does that mean exactly? Numbers come in different forms, so it is important for us to recognise these forms. We're going to have a look at a just a few, first one being saying the number. Then we're going to write the number in words. We're also going to split it into place values. Then we're going to use our base 10 blocks, or with the same number. Let's go have a look at some examples. Say 15, write, use, split. Okay, so let's have a look at our first number, boys and girls. So what's my number? How do we say it? 39. So what's my number, boys and girls? 39. That's right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at it in written in words. Okay, so what does 39 look like written in words? Let's have a look. 39. So 39 written as words. Now we're going to split it into its place values. So what does this 3 represent, boys and girls? 30 plus my 1s, which is 9. Okay, so 39, 39 written as words and 39 written as place values. 30 plus 9. Let's go see what it looks like using base 10 blocks. Okay, so let's have a look at our base 10 blocks, boys and girls. So remember, our number was 39. What was it? 39. You remembered. That's good. Okay, so who remembers what these are called? These are called longs, or they're worth 10. Tens. And then we've got our ones. So this is worth one only. So how are we going to put our 39 using our base 10 blocks? So how many tens are we going to need? We're going to need three. So one, two, and three. So there are three blocks, our three tens, so I'll move these over here. And how many ones are we going to need for 39? We're going to need nine, aren't we? Okay, so let's count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So looking at our base 10 blocks, we have three tens, which is worth 30, and nine ones, which is worth nine. So our number is 39. Okay, so what's this number, boys and girls? How do we say this number? This number is 77. What number is it? 77. That's right. Okay, what does that look like? What does 77 look like written in words? Let's have a go. So we need to do the 70. 70, and then the 7. Okay, so 77 written as words. Now we need to split it into its place value. So what's the first 7 represent, boys and girls? 70. And how many 1s have we got? 7. Okay, so 77 written as words, 77. And 70 split into place values is 70 plus 7. Let's see what it looks like using base 10. Okay, so our next number, boys and girls, is 77. So how are we going to use our blocks to make 77? So how many tens do we need, boys and girls? 77. I think we need 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 that over there. So there's my seven, my seven tens or my seven longs. And how many ones do I need? Seventy-seven. So I'm going to need seven little ones, so seven ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So I've got seven longs or seven tens and seven ones. So my number is 77. 
Ooh, this one looks a little bit harder, boys and girls. What number is this? This number is 232. What number is it? 232. You guys are just too good. Okay, so what does 232 look like when it's written in words? Okay, so we need to do the two first. So 200. And 30 two. Okay, so 232, 232. Okay, what does it look like split into place value? So what's the first 200, what's the first two represent, boys and girls? 200. So 200 plus 30, because the three. And our two. There's actually another way we can split it, boys and girls. Let me show you. So we've still just split it into the 200. But with, we won't split the 32 this time. Okay, so it still says the same thing, it's just split less. Okay, so 232 written in words is 232. Split into place value is 200 plus 30 plus 2 or 200 plus 32. Let's go see what it looks like using base 10 blocks. Okay, let's have a look at our next number, boys and girls. So our next number is 232. So what blocks am I going to need? Am I going to need ones? Yep. What about tens? Yes. Something else do I need? What do I need, boys and girls? 232. I need hundreds. Here they are. Okay, so how many do I need, boys and girls? So 200. So I need two. So these are flats, remember? Flats. Okay, so I need two. So there's my two, my 200. Then I need my 10. So 230. So I need three. So one, two, and three. So three tens or three longs. 232. So I need two ones. So my number is 232. Boys and girls, come and join me in our next lesson for some harder examples and the challenge. I will see you really soon.